Today was a deadlift variation day and I started off with deficit deadlifts. Deficit deadlifts help you build power off the floor and how you do them is you stand on a block or plates or whatever you have you're just elevating your body so you actually have a longer pull at the bottom. They're a little bit harder. Uh, today I decided to do to a two and a half to three inch pull. There have been times I've used a five inch pull which is a little too much but I have done it. I started off doing reps after my warm up sets and then once I got to 405 I did two reps and then I decided it would be best if I just do singles from here on out. I'm doing these without a belt and it just didn't feel right. So here I am, I put my belt on. I'm going down really slow. I'm pulling myself into the bar. Getting all set up. And then I just pull the weight up. This weight's really light. And since I'm starting over doing these, I decided to go a little bit light. So I'm gonna go to 455 and just do a single and the next time I do these I'll just add more weight but these really do feel good if you have a problem with your deadlift getting it off the floor and you're a conventional deadlifter definitely give these a try I then moved on to snatch grip deadlifts what these do is and I feel them in my lower back and also my upper back I like them because they teach me to deadlift with a flat back And I don't have to go as heavy. I usually do sets of five or more. Then I moved on to reverse hypers. Did two sets of 10 because my back was really tired. Then afterwards I moved on to pull downs. And I ended up doing four sets of 10. Increasing the weight for the first three sets and then one back down set. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will get back to you.